The scripture tells us that Jesus is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And I'm so glad that it also says he'll be with us in the sixth trouble and he won't forsake us in the seventh. He's the only one that I know that'll be there when it comes my time to cross the Jordan River. I'm so glad that I have been blessed with so many good Christian friends throughout my lifetime. I grew up in a country church and was surrounded by so many Christian friends. But you know what? There were times in my life when those friends had limited resources and couldn't help me. I remember at one point in my life, I had went to the doctor and they had diagnosed me with an autoimmune disease. And my husband had been laid off from work the very next week and things didn't look so good. And I was very upset at him. I was very upset at myself. And I got up day after day and was just seemed like I was so angry, just so mad. I got in the car going to a doctor's appointment one morning. I was taking a half day off from work to go to that doctor's appointment. Turned on a Christian radio station. And I just started crying. And I said, God, I just can't take another step. I just can't keep going this way. I've done absolutely all I can do. I cannot continue this way. And the DJ on the Christian radio station read the verse that said, Suffer little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. And it was just like Jesus got into the automobile with me that morning. And he sat down in the passenger seat and he reached over and he said, Tanya, are you really doing all you can do? And it's just like I talked to him and I said, yes, sir, I am. And he said, well, do you, does your son have to remind you every day, Tanya? You know, now, Mama, you need to make sure that, that you work hard because I need a roof over my head and I need food to eat and I'm going to need shoes on my feet. Now, Mama, I really need for you to work today to, to provide me the, with those things. And I said, no, sir. He said, how much more do I love you? He said, how much more do I care for you? Amen. And he said, trust in me. I've got it all under control. I've got it all under control. Did you know when I went to the doctor that day, the doctor didn't tell me your illness is cured. The doctor didn't tell me when I got home, my husband didn't tell me I've got a new job. There was not one penny more in my bank account, <laughs> but I had a friend that would hold my hand through every single bit of it. <laughs> and I had somebody that when I laid awake at night that would share my trouble. Jesus knows all about your trouble. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. I'm so glad. It's like my papa says, you and Jesus can be like Cairo and Syrup. <laughs> you don't have to go without a friend. There's a friend that wants to be close to you, that loves you and can handle your problems. Amen. No friend like him is so high and holy. No, no not one. 